sorry that I'm uploading a second video today, but I just saw this. And yes, I realize I'm late, but I just saw it. And um, it looked so dumb that I thought that the article was satirical, like, or this was the onion or something, but it's not, and it's not. So the Flash production designer says audiences will forget Ezra Miller's crimes. So in case you have no idea about the allegations against Ezra Miller, here's a complete timeline of the troubling allegations against them. Uh, by this person, sorry that I can't pronounce your name. Um, and it's 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 bigger than the Bible, like starting fall twenty nineteen, uh, starting exhibiting uh, disturbing behavior on a movie set. February and March twenty twenty, Miller invited guests uh, to an Airbnb in Iceland that one person described as a commune. This was during COVID, by the way. April 2020, a video of Miller appearing to choke a woman outside of a bar in Iceland went viral. April 2020, reports of troubling behavior continued at Iceland's hotel. This March and April 2020, they got into legal trouble in Hawaii. Um, May and June 2020, protective orders against Miller are granted and um, this one specifically is very concerning because they're basically alleged grooming be uh, grooming uh, allegations again alleged um, early August 2022 Miller's legal troubles continued in Vermont August 2022, Miller releasing, uh, releases a statement saying they are seeking help and reportedly uh, hopes to move forward with Warner Bros. And apparently they did because they, they're back on the flash. Um, yeah. Uh, the production designer said that Miller did such a superb job that people will forget all the negative press the actor has accumulated in the last couple of years. He stressed that Miller's dedication and professionalism while being under a lot of pressure um, is going to sway the public in the other direction. <laughs> mm, I, uh, I don't know about this, honestly. And he, uh, it has been reported that uh, they did their own stunts for The Flash. I saw the trailer um, and the like to dislike ratio is concerning. Nobody in the comments mentioned the whole thing with uh, crimes. Oh yeah, here is one. But yeah, um, I guess Ezra won this, uh, this fight or this war. People are basically ignoring whatever happened in the last four years or five years from Ezra because they're just famous and rich, I guess. So I just hope that this won't be a standard moving forward. Like, we won't ignore allegations and considerable legal troubles just because someone is rich and famous and is in an important movie. I, I do not know how to close this video even. That's it, honestly. Um, like I'm, I'm, I'm baffled by this.